Thank you. Uh, so this is a talk of how to use your users. Uh, basically, you have a really pa if you're a web startup, you have a passionate community using your product. How do you get the most out of that? Um, you can get everything from testing and debugging to web design um, to even product marketing. There are many different roles in a startup, um, usually more roles than there are actually people when you're kind of small and early on. Um, but you can outsource all of this to your users. Take testing and quality assurance, for instance. Um, you can actually make that a part of your website and have give early adopters or beta testers certain access to certain features you're about to release that nobody's seen yet. They feel rewarded, they have a premium, and they get to play around and give you feedback. And then once you actually release the product, make sure that you have a communication mechanism, whether that's surveys and feedback forms or instant messenger, so there's real-time feedback. And just let the community know that you're there. You can fix bugs in minutes and hours and weeks, depending on the priority, but that you're listening to them. Um, and then there's also uh, product development. There's the whole um, release early, release often cycle. I say release, er release even earlier, release often. Put it out there early. If the product's shit, you'll find out very quickly. And go back to the drawing board, figure out what's wrong. If they love it, great. What do they like about it? What do they want to see next? C constantly iterate on that. But you gotta be careful. There's always gonna be the 2% that say, I want ninjas with swords and flames coming out their sides, but that's just the minority that's very loud. What do the users really want? Usually it's something very basic and simple, utilitarian. So you have to process all that feedback and put it together and realize what they want. Um, you can get your users to actually design your website. WordPress and Blogger are excellent examples of this. All the different themes and templates they have, users created that. Why? Because they would get attribution. Basically, I create a theme, I'm a designer, put it up, big huge site like Blogger links to me, that's great. I now have cred within my community. Get your users actually talking to each other. So many social sites have private messaging and you're a friend, but the community as a, lar as a whole doesn't actually talk to each other. Get your passionate users talking to the newbies and welcome them on board and say, hey, glad to see you on here. Get your users marketing for you. You've all seen people love us on Yelp stickers. That's guerrilla marketing right there on the street. Create widgets. It doesn't even have to be a widget that is a core product of your company. It could just be some stupid Tetris game that everybody loves to play, but your logo is down in the bottom corner, and now you're branded across a million websites. Um, click here to invite your friends. That actually works. It's more than just finding people online. It's actually bringing new users to your site. And if you need to position yourself on Google, get yourself to the top, ask your users to throw some badge on their site with these keywords and point to you. They'll do that because they love your service. Um, and so if you have an article written about you, let's say you're a dick story you're linking to, or a YouTube viral video that you need to get more eyeballs so it kind of raises in the ranks, ask your users, send them emails, send them newsletters. Uh, you should have users on your instant messenger uh, so you can IM them in real time and ask them. You can even have users develop your product. When Flickr first launched, they didn't have the Mac and the PC and the Unix uploader, they just focused on web hosting. Who developed all that software? The community. Who maintained all that software? The community. Move it on to them, focus on your core product. Um, what else can users do? Behavior testing, they can convert more users. Watch what your users do. If you don't have a mechanism set up to do A-B testing in real time, do one week with one website, do a second week with another website, Google Analytics, Crazy Egg, free services, watch what they do see and learn. Um, have your users translate your site for you. We just launched a website two weeks ago. We're already translated into a handful of languages thanks to our users. I went out, I looked, and I saw what users were talking in different languages. I emailed them and said, hey, would you translate this in Italian to us? And they said, yes, it's that easy. Um, interns, free labor. I guarantee if you have a website, you have a comp sign major, you have a business management major, you have somebody taking creative arts, get them working for you. It can be remote or it can be on site. Bring them in for the summer. They need the expertise, they need that on their resume, bring them into the company. Constantly poke your users, remind them, hey, you have some new friend following you on Twitter. This is our newsletter. Be personal. Talk to your users. Tell them this is what we're working on, this is what we completed. Get them constantly coming back to the site. Tell them what you need, but it needs to be mutually beneficial. And find, make sure to reward them. Um, you're going to have these top users that are really active on the site. Let them know that. That can be badges, elite status. Um, if you can't do that in your software, if that doesn't make sense, send a personal communication. Be like, hey, you're the number one poster of some information on our site. I just want to say thank you. That goes very far to hear that coming from somebody in the company. Um, and finally, trade work for services. Um, if you need somebody to do work and you have a premium service, give it for free. If you can't give it for free, offer it at a discount. And if you don't have that, then create virtual gifts. Um, there's a lot you can do with your users. You just have to be creative about it. You have to make sure to keep an open uh, communication with them in a closed loop, just in a cycle. And be sure not to abuse your users, but use your users. Thank you.